Philippians chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, challenges us to imitate Christ's humility. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interests of the others. Today, we want to focus on looking out for the interests of others and the benefits of being unselfish. Unselfishness does three things for you. Number one, unselfishness improves the quality of your life. It gives you an appreciation for life and a comprehension of its higher values. Seeing people in need and giving to meet those needs sets a lot of things into perspective. John Maxwell writes, there is no life as empty as the self-centered life, and there is no life as centered as the self-empty life. If you want to enhance your world, focus your attention on assisting others. Number two, unselfishness makes you part of something greater than yourself. In the mid-1980s, Merck and Company, the global pharmaceutical corporation, developed a medication to cure river blindness, a disease that infects many and causes blindness in millions of people, mainly in developing countries. While it was a good product, potential customers couldn't afford it. So, what did Merck do? He, it produced the drug anyway, and it announced that it would give it free to anyone who needed it. As a result, they gave away more than 250 million tablets. George W. Merck says, we try never to forget that medicine is for the people. It's not for the prophets. The prophets follow, and if we have remembered that, they have never failed to appear. The lesson to learn? Simple. Instead of attempting to be great, be part of something greater than yourself. Number three, unselfishness creates a legacy. Jack Balasek, former president of True North Communications said, learn, earn, return. These are the three phases of life. When you think unselfishly and invest in others, you gain the opportunity to create a legacy that will outlive you. And that should be your goal. So look out for the interests of others. That's the word for you today. Now here are some other ways to live unselfishly. Go on a mission trip individually or as a family. We have three opportunities this summer. St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands to help rebuild a church that was destroyed in a hurricane. Bradenton, Florida to work with the Bradenton Dream Center, making a difference in that community through ministry to children, youth, and low-income adults. And in Nashville, Tennessee to work with various organizations serving senior adults, youth, and children. You can join a disaster relief team through Samaritan's Purse or support evangelism through Operation Christmas Child by purchasing supplies, packing shoeboxes, or going to serve at a processing center this fall. You can donate food for the food pantry at Our Lady of Good Counsel, which, which serves the food insecure in St. Johns County. You could volunteer to help at the Wildflower Clinic, which provides medical services two days a week and dental services three to four days a week for St. Johns County residents who have no health insurance, Medicare, or Medicaid and who live in poverty. You can sponsor a child through Compassion International, Holt International, World Vision, FPSM, or another organization that provides health care, education, clothing for children all over the world. You can volunteer to work with youth or children, volunteer at a local school, coach or sponsor recreational sports teams for children and youth, and the list goes on and on. Have a great weekend, church, and we'll see you this Sunday in worship, either in person or online at the Village Church at World Golf Village on their pages on Facebook or YouTube. We love you, church. Have a great day.